there you... everyone if, if, go ahead did you just make a pun <laughs> uh incidentally <laughs> uh oh hey everyone who is watching this on youtube later or as of odds uh, we just finished up with transistor but since we still have over an hour to go we will be starting on uh, return of the obra din so first off let me change the title so i so I don't think that will have much effect on Twitch, but it will. There, over then, and then change the category as well. Uh, so yeah, it's the top one, of course. Okay, and starting up the game. Yeah, and uh, we're on with me, free some Lieutenant Drake here at your service of works. Yeah, okay, there we go. Just need to move this up a little bit. I should look at some way to just automatically have things open. Oh. A little bit loud for me, <laughs> unexpectedly. No. You could surprise me if you use it. I get surprised by the name. The Pope made this? <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, this game is quite a treat. I have completed it before, and now it was created by Lucas Pope. <laughs> Okay, first off though, this little anchor here is actually the options button. And first thing that we can choose is, well, the monitor style. So, shall we go with this or this? Oh. I'm thinking we put it on this at the moment to see if this gives a bit more contrast, but this is the original look. So... Okay. Oh, oh, I say recognize the names now. Those are... Those are some damn old uh, computers. Okay, apparently my... Apparently my fitness tracker activated something of its own for a bit, but oh well. Uh, yeah, this game is interesting. It is a bit of a murder mystery and a puzzle investigation game. And, well, <laughs> we'll see in a bit. <laughs> uh, first off, though, let me delete this one, which I ran as a test. I've already solved that, as it said here, uh, two years ago. Uh, I, I did not know that this track would go so long. <laughs> Anyways, let's start. Lost at Sea 1803, the good ship Obra Dinn. Built in 1796 in London, weighs a weight of 800 tons, 18 feet draught. Not sure what that means. 18 feet across, I'm guessing. Uh, its captain was Captain Air R. But I almost say it in Dutch. <clears throat> R. Witterell, with a crew of 51 men. Last voyage was to the Orient, Cape Rendezvous unmet. Oop. Let's see. The Honorable East India Company, attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims, London office. The Overdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth, uh, Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. Okay, clicking okay. doesn't do anything, so I guess it will have to let it pass. Uh, space. Yep, that's it's either oddly times or works. Company man woke me up. Said you need ferry to the old Bredin. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! Ow. Carefully. Okay, I I remember the voice of our character being male. Does does the monitor think we do affect that as well somehow? Huh? Oh, or, or or is it randomized? Huh? Maybe it's randomized. Okay. But yeah, as is very obvious, this uh, this game has a rather limited color palette. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yep. 
their spacebar to interact. And Isn't yeah. I think you mean the hands look a bit different. Maybe they had a patch something. We did a showcase of this game. And I'm pretty sure the the voice was male there as well, so I'm <laughs> I'm just still a bit surprised. Yeah, so it was quite that time ago we did a showcase of this. Yeah. And uh well the ship looks to be in decent, if not outright good condition. Uh, I say that as the sails are very clearly torn. And one but... is broken. Yeah. The other one. Yeah, that one's bent as well. And yeah, nobody here but a corpse. Wait, that. Hell, no, you're being red. That, that's dead, Bill. Continuing with the Muppet jokes. I, it, to be honest, that proof was probably the first Muppet movie I actually liked. Otherwise, before that, I can dislike the Muppets and Sesame Street. I kind of feel like the young man, the kid. It's too heavy. Weekly. Go on. Uh, as I say, is kid my uh, version of me would probably not gotten much of the jokes of the Muppets, but now as an adult, and I watched them, I get them a bit better. It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. Okay, I, I like this where they just have our character move their hands to stuff we can interact with. And hello there. I'm pretty sure those are gloves, not just weird ass hands. Let's see. Return of the Oprah Din. Catalog of Adventure and Tragedy, 1807. Preface. <clears throat> I trust that uh, you uh, now find yourself aboard the Oprah Din. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oprah Din is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete every chapter accurately and return to the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. And then we have, well, the contents. Ship. Uh, the journey, the ship, the crew, life at sea, a sketch, a glossary, and the back cover. And then all of the chapters. Loose cargo, a bitter cold, murder, the culling, or the calling, not culling. Unholy captives, soldiers of the sea, the doom, bargain, the escape, and the end. And yeah, here we have an image that the of the routes that the ship was to take, but it never got to here. But now it is all the way back here somehow, with no crew. Yeah. And then we have here an outline is. of the ship, the surgeon's place, crew place, starboard walk, the carpenter's shop, captain's cargo, Lazarette, whatever that means, passengers cargo, and the bosun store. Wait, you... Oh, this gonna be a... Yo I know what that is! Should I even ask then? It's a hospital, it told Helium. <laughs> okay. Then we have the captain's quarters, the passengers' cabins, uh, okay. second mates, to go fourth mates, first and third, bosun, bosun mates, Stewards, midshipmen, uh, the main deck, gun deck, orlop deck, okay, and the cargo hold. Okay, oh so dear, I, I, I misread passenger cabin to passenger goblin. <laughs> <laughs> now for that we would, have to, we would have to lure Zeri aboard. Then here we have a complete crew and passenger manifest of all 51 people. 
As you can see, actually 60 people because 51 crew and passengers. And I, I only accidentally scrolled up enough to hit the actual passengers there. Uh, yeah, our job is to identify each and every one of them and what happened to them. Here we have the sketch of life at sea. All of these faces are blurred out when we zoom in on them or we focus on them. Okay, Formosan royalty. And then we have justice at sea. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's yeah. a reason that one of the chapters is called Murder. Okay. Get away from that. And yeah, the rest of these pages are all blank. What? Well, so it wouldn't write itself. Cue the CSI music. <laughs> and over here we have a glossary of what all of these terms are, like the captain. Head officer in command of the ship, responsible for directing the other officers and ensuring the success and safety of the ship's voyage. And we have mate, officer or tradesman that supports or assists their superior. General mates help to run the ship and serve at the captain's request. Tradesman mates are serve their supervisor, so basically assistants. Then we have the bosun. Yeah. They're, they're, they're a bit wrong. No? Yeah. The captain have a lieutenant. So you yeah, are you saying that just because you don't want to be called mate? Uh, more of what I learned. What then? That uh, the assistant to the captain is the lieutenant. First mate is, and second mate are the assistant to the sail master. Okay. I don't think we have those in here, so this might be a bit simplified. Yeah, uh, it's more those things that Basically, if you understand, blame Hollywood. Okay. Bosun, alternative, boat swain or bosun. Foreman in charge of general crew operations and the equipment required to sail the ship. Gunner, speaks for itself. Military officer, purser. Administrative official, accounts for all cargo value and trade transaction. Manages a, manages a small item store for crew. So, sort of quartermaster. Uh, Moto... The, that has been recorded of one quartermaster who had a purser. Okay. So it was basically an assistant to them, but otherwise I think purser were more common on uh, non-pirate ships. A surgeon and carpenter speak for themselves. Houseman also basically. Rated seaman in control of the ship's wheel. Then the stewards. Yeah. Servants to an officer or higher rated crew member. Performing general duties for the comfort of their employer. Uh, something else I learned here. A ship never had one helmsman. Had yeah, several. It be, yeah, it would be bad if one of the helmsmen uh, went overboard, so to say. Yeah, and they were the ones steering the ship, not the captain. Yeah. Uh, midshipman, officer in training, assists various officers and tradesmen in order to learn ship operations, usually of privileged status. Then we have Topman, higher rated seaman specializing in work above the deck in the sails and rigging. Seaman, low level crew member responsible for general manual labor on and below deck. Uh, rigging, yeah, the network of ropes, main deck, gun deck, or lob deck. Let's see, mid deck, above the lowest deck, containing storage, cabins, animal pens, and the ship's steering tiller. Okay. And that's most of this. And we have this little thing here. And then we can just zip right. Our right back to the front. Okay. Oh no. Now you remember again, I think I told you a story before, but some police got the idea to steal cows. <laughs> Memento Morton. Remember death. Yeah, the hands definitely a bit different for I think when you did this first time. The hands were a little bit bigger. Yeah, it could just be a random bit, bit of randomization in the game, perhaps. Let's perhaps see. Then, uh, uh, wait, was the guy even? Was the even the main character even voiced? 
Not sure actually now, it ha like it has been a bit, and they don't really have many lines, like only there at the start, I think. But uh, yeah, remember death. Captain, open the door! Kick it in. Ah, lest we break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards may take. Exactly what can I give you? And yeah. We get to see the moment of death. And hello up there. And we can move around freely unless our path is blocked. Yeah. Okay, we just have to wait a bit. Let's see. We have someone with a, a cap of some sorts. Sideburns. A officer's jacket of sorts here. The axe that we found next to the body. And here we go. All the way at the end. The location of the corpse. Who is this? How did they die? Yeah. This unknown soul met an unknown fate. And we have to fill these in for everyone. They are faded out still in here. That will have a bit of meaning in a bit. We can read a transcript of what happened. I believe X is... Yeah, X marks the, peep, the person who spoke... Uh, uh, who is the target, or the, the victim in this case. Then we have the location and others who were present. Unknown. This one is not faded out. And then we have one of the gunners here. And we may leave whenever. Oh. Okay, that, that is a bit cool. It's a. It's a bit harder to see, but that is the bullet that went straight through. Oh, yeah, now I see. Yeah, de detail, the, the devil is in the details, is is basically one of the core tenets of this game. Ten tenets of core rules of this game. Basically, you will want to find every little detail that you can in this game. Uh, well, wait, I thought I had... Yeah, give me a second. <laughs> I thought uh, I had set that off. A friendly boost share. <laughs> a little... Yeah, not, yeah, I almost said Gremlin sneaking in, but no, there was a little Cthulhu. But yeah, just every detail you can find, try and make some note of it. It may be of use later. And now the door yeah. is open. I, I guess it is. When I said you fully cue to see sign music, it is comically very fitting mindset for this game. Yeah. I, I will I will need to do a bit of research to help along with this, otherwise we might be stuck for quite a while. Um yeah, if you if you want to really see a good uh, a good uh, coverage of this game, I would advise Oxhorn's uh, videos on this. But for now, let's investigate another death. Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. And let's see. It's our it's our cap wearing man. 
who got slid up by the captain. Uh, yeah. Let's see, there's a pistol here. This door is also locked here still. We still have our victim over here. But I do believe there is a bit more that we can find if we look around. Because we saw someone go up here. But they're nowhere to be seen now. So, might they be... Here. What do you mean there? See, part two, inside the captain's quarters. Yeah, who are they? How did they die? Transcript. Location, just a little bit back. And two others present, because one was already dead. The door opening again. So, we can take our leave from this phantom scene and return to reality. And, well, we can get, have a good guess at who this is. Dead Bill. There's a lot of dead bills here. A lot of bills to pay. There's the previous one. And yeah, the captain got shanked in the side by this guy. <laughs> but he powers through and whacks him head on the head. Head on the head? <laughs> Hard enough to kill him instantly. Uh, yeah, Smack protect your freaking hand. hand. I think you want to say. That, that is quite a dent, I think, there. Yeah, I think... Oh, I think I know what happened. I think he may have broken the... skull port where the eyebrow is. Probably. Either way, you don't want any part of your skull broken in any sort of way. Yeah. Okay. As we fade out... As we fade out, Lavia grabs his drink. You can hear that? <laughs> yeah, I heard it. And I heard you set down your something earlier during the transistor stream as well. Oh, for <laughs> like, love of... <laughs> the noise cancellation is weird. And yeah. again... Who are they? They are... This is also here. They are present. This is the art of memories that we know where they are. Yep. Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. This soul appears in three memories. First memory, one, two, six. And we can bookmark them to help with identifying them. Okay. Order. Let's see. Okay, use the buttons at the top of the page to edit bookmarks and navigate between them. I, I actually never knew this existed. <laughs> this is completely new. Wait. What if they... Did an update recently without us knowing? Mm, maybe by the time that they we did the showcase as well. But I'll, I'll look at when the last update was. For now, this person's face appears blurred throughout the book. This blurring indicates that you don't yet have sufficient information to determine their identity. Their fate may be known and can be entered now. Yep. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Carry on and pay attention. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Yeah, there are, there are entire videos on this game about all of the clues you can find about how uh, to identify people. But for now, this man was clubbed by the captain. And with that, the door opens once more. 
Uh, let's see. Can we... Oh, open the book while examining a face to flip directly to the sketch. Uh, okay. We open it with tab. Uh, let's see. You... You were... Let's see. Um, not torn apart, not shot. Knifed. By the captain. Okay. And then there's this last one here. Okay. And you were shot by the captain. Yeah. It, actually, yeah. Knife is a term that not many use nowadays. There you go. And we can head out. And once more, the world has changed around us to reveal yet another body. Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Yep, trigger warning. Please forgive me. You can guess what is to follow. For everything. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I thought you were to really warn us about epilepsy warning there. Uh, I don't think I'd actually need for that with... Uh, this many colors. Yeah, and oh bloody heck. First transistor now this. And hello there. And yeah. Uh, we will have to wait for the game to actually move us on. Okay. He managed to get the knife out, tossed it, and managed to stumble in here to end it himself. And yeah, that gave us quite a bit of uh, intel on that. So yeah, no one else was present, but it's an easy guess who this man is. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means that they can now be identified. They have been unveiled since the very start. I believe, use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity, revisit memories of the on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Appearances can play a big role as well. Use the book maps, crew manifest, and artist sketches along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You will have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. Okay. This is the captain. Who, well... Uh, suicide by gun. This may or may not be correct. Fates are validated in sets of three. This way, they prevent you from just guessing. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset into the book. But yeah, we have pretty decisive evidence that this is true. And the door opens again. And yeah, I think it's an easy guess as to who this is. Though how they died is another thing. As you can see, they are shown... And they are, let's see, Robert Witterell. Do we have anyone else here with that last name? 
Let's see. We can also mark people as unknown such and such. Uh, there. Abigail Huskett, or Huskett Ritterow, passenger from Scotland. So we can just stick a name on her. And let's see. We have... We, have, we can identify this man now. Since, well, we know his sister. And let's see. Huskett, Huskett. He said he was shot a double... him, right? He was the first mate. Huskett. So, Robert's oh, wife oh, took uh, his last name, but kept her own as well. There. Yeah. That is likely two fates resolved now. And let's see. We can't identify you. And where is the other one that we could find around here as well? Let's see. No, that's you. You are also still unknown. So we will need more information to identify all of them. But for now, we can head back. And that is all of the end. Forty people lost their lives here. And yeah, here is what it remains of Abigail. So, Memento Morton. know what killed her however there's a bit more to it than just an accidental death yeah we have someone here a face that is now revealed that is likely Martin and we have Three people here. Someone who is very not happy. Uh, yeah. Can, it, it oh, can be identified. Face. She's very unaware what she's about to see. Take note. Was, wedding ring. Huh, it's something over here. And another person who can be identified. And that leads us to the next chapter, The Doom. Somewhere between the Azores and the Canary Islands. The corpse was moved post-mortem. Ten others were present. Ten, okay. We saw four. And yeah, she was clubbed by a beast. Well done, three fates correct. And when you fin when you have three correct, well, they become <laughs> they become part of the game, no, not of the game, of the book itself, no longer notes. One, two, three. Wait, didn't say you got her correct. Uh, Abigail's was the first one shown there that I was correct, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay. Oh. That's blocked. Oh, there's someone else here. That's also blocked by the waves. 
Let's see. Oh, over there. Oh, someone here. Two of them. Fancy hat. And, uh... Oh! Oh! Yeah. I'm kinda glad this is not in color. Yep. And such, a phantom is revealed. And we can go in deeper. Yeah. Not a pleasant way to go in the ever so slightest and we have our fancy hat man throwing a rifle to someone else with a fancy hat and some sort a of goat? animal in there it's a goat okay we have someone throw oh throwing a spear and hello there that's a whole crew yeah uh some uh, unfortunate... Yeah. There's three... Three... The three stooges, not the three stooges. Let's see. I need to shift my fan a bit. It keeps messing up my elbow guards. It's basically just a cloth I have folded up on the side of my <laughs> desk here. So my arm isn't making contact with the desk itself, because that tends to leave a very salty and very prickly aftermark. Let's see. You? Well, you were... Let's see. Torn apart. By a beast. Twelve others were present. We can identify this man. And that is because, well, he has very... Uh, very distinctive tattoos. This game does want you to be a... does want... Uh, <clears throat> does uh, expect a few... Uh, a few little jumps here and there. And let's see. We can identify you. You are likely Martin, I believe. There's a bunch of other people around here. And yeah, I believe... Yeah, this man's identity is a bit of a leap, I believe. So, let's have a look. Let's see, he is one... Another one of the stewards. He is either one of the top men. Let's see, those are all Eastern-ish names up from China. Then we have someone from England, someone from New Guinea. An Englishman, and again, even a Russian. And we have some more Russians, another English, a Dane, a whale, and Indian people in India. Even and then we have a certain... Denmark. Yeah. And then we have someone from Sierra Leone. And I believe this is our man. I never heard of that place. Yeah, I don't think there are too many clues as to this man's identity, other than through process of elimination. Uh, but I do believe that is in the, um, let me think, Indonesia region. But we will see if this is this man when we solve two other fates. For now, though, we can go in even deeper. This is uh, starting to turn into freaking Inception. Because there is another one dead right here. Okay. And I don't think we need to follow after this one since we're already quite near where the body was. 
There we go. Another specter. Another story. Yeah, that's also uh, a way to go. And then over here, we have another of these. Floats also play a big part in this game with identifying people. And we have uh, our very distinctive man over here. Another officer, from the looks of it. And I think we can take a good guess at what this man's occupation is. Or at least who he's assisting. And yeah. These people were very, very, very unlucky, huh? And terrified for many of them probably just like some probably believed in Krakens, but others probably saw them as myths. And yeah, I think you can guess what happens when you realize the myth is real. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can take much of a guess at who they are yet. They are blurred still. <clears throat> Need to reposition my fan again a bit. But yeah, slowly but surely we'll be able to chisel away at who everyone is. And then through elimination or association, we will be able to make more educated guesses on other people. But for now, I believe we need to mo go make some more <clears throat> estimates and such. So let's see. You. We can't identify. Yep. Open the book while the pocket watch is open to flip directly to the relevant page. Okay. We can't identify you. Yep. Yep. I accidentally hit spacebar there instead of tab. This. Yeah. This puts us in here again. And yeah, it will play the audio again as well. We can't identify either of you. We've identified Abigail. We've identified you. But we can't just leave now. Uh, let's see. Captain, Abigail. And yeah, from here the work fully begins. I saw him on the floor there. That hmm. uh, one? Yeah, it's just oh, a little say. lighting bit. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's jump in with you again. Part 7 of 8. Let's see. Unknown. Oh, someone here. You, we can't guess at either. Oh, someone over here. Who we can identify. Let's see. Can I get a better angle on your face? Yeah, I believe you are the same person who was talking to Abigail earlier. Where did that see even gang come from? Oh, hello. Okay. Faded as well. We have another of our victims here. Let's 
quickly check in. Okay, that was a bit sudden. Yes, yes. Let's see. You are an unknown. Uh, we already likely identified you. Paid about, but we can hazard a guess that you are a military officer of some sort. Let's head to Abigail and see if we can verify <clears throat> if we can discover someone else's dis or at least identify Martin. So, just jump in. And yeah, you are Martin. Most likely because Abigail addressed to him, likely him, by name. So we have Martin Perot, third mate. But your fate is unknown to us at the moment. And let's see, we have... Yeah, we already identified you. We have, well, I think it's an easy guess who this might be. Greg? You are... Let's see, the helmsman, Finley Dalton from England. But fate unknown. And we just have a bunch more unknowns. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I will repeat this. A ship had more than one helmsman says, yeah, they took turns. Let's see. We have the Formosan royalty here, of whom we can not identify a single one of them. And let's I never see. heard of promotion. I believe it is an old name for an Indonesian uh, <laughs> region name, uh, air, uh, region land or so. All Let's right. See. Bunch of unknowns. A distinctive hat on this one. And yeah, there we have Abigail. And then we have two more of the passengers here. Let's see. You, you are the woman who had. Let's see. You are over here. You have a, a wedding ring. So, let's see. This is a deduction rating. A higher rating means it will be more difficult to deduce this person's identity. Focus on the easily deduced identities first and leave the more difficult ones for later. Okay, three, so pretty difficult, but we know that she is a passenger since she lacks any sort of uniform and, well, the whole old thing of women on board of ships being frowned upon th stuff. So she is a passenger who is married to someone. So let's see, we have an Emily Jackson, a Miss Jane Bird. Miss is, a na is the name for, or is the... Uh, what what is the not title but it is what you call people who are unmarried and i have no idea if <laughs> if that is a male or female name so let's see we have a bunch uh, we have the formosans here so if it is not miss jane bird and it is unlikely to be whoever this is then this is most likely emily jackson And that leaves another passenger. Oh, wait. Miss Jane Bird. Hmm. Let's take a look at them again. Sneak around. Okay, well, you're not Okay, okay, I think you're doing the right uh, guessing then, yeah. Yeah. Wedding ring. No ring. And, oh, hello there. You are our unknown military officer. Let's see. You are... You don't have sufficient identification. Yeah. 
Okay, right. yeah, let, let's wait until we have more, but we know they are an officer of some sort. Right, let's not go making hazardous guesses. We have you. We have these two from before, and that is not a good situation to be in. And we have you, who's taking a stab, quite literally. Sorry, okay. I had uh, something. What did I miss? Something uh, bad situation. Uh, yeah, you can uh, see it right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's um, good. This is the wrong moment to challenge a crackle to arm wrestling. Yeah, I was actually going to make a similar joke. Okay. Well, of course you were. <laughs> oh, that insane after all. Let's see, is there anywhere else where we can go here? There is that in the distance. Let's see. Okay, we have one, we have two. We can't identify you. And even after oh, this is open, I don't remember if this was open before, but it's likely been opened now. And yeah. More for us to explore. More doors that are locked. Always nice when they let you try. And more bodies to investigate. Uh oh. You can take a guess at how. Oh, gee, yeah. gods! Yeah, it was very normal to try to make sure the cannons were chained or roped in position. Because uh, otherwise, control? yeah. Yeah, that. For either from the recoil or from this. Okay. Let's see. Hello again, Martin. Still kicking. And we have. Can I get an angle where I might be able to see the portraits? No, right, that's really poor. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Wait, what? Okay, let, let's take a look at him, for something is off there. The fact oh, that he on. has no head. Oh, arm. What? Okay. What the, Was that a Kraken or...? Let's see. Crushed by a cannon. And yeah. Just get to it, Wisp. <laughs> From Ori and the wi uh, and the Will of the Wisp to uh, the Overdin and <laughs> the very uh, flashy Wisps. Good God. In Rodhalla. Oh! I think that explains uh, why there was no heads. I think you know what happened then. The Kraken has struck and. Yeah, there's the tentacle. Yeah, it grabbed it while the fuse was already lit. And here we have and he... our unfortunate with the loose cannon. Oh, no, that is the... That is the man who got uh, clubbed or no slashed by the, <clears throat> the captain. And you were the one who had crushed, weren't you? And oh here God. we have our distinctive man again. Yes. Yeah, it was 
he was damn unlucky that the damn thing just grabbed a hold of it and just happened to have it aimed at him. Likely not intentionally. Yeah. And we're in the fourth part. We are going through this basically from back to front. It's... Okay, two Ooh. men here, both unknown. Let's see. You were, let's see, shot with a cannon by a beast. And you, uh, actually, who were you? There's another dead body here. Under all of this. Oh, I think it was the guy who lit the fuse. Yeah. Also, it was you who was crushed, I believe. We'll fill that in in a second. Yeah, apparently these things just cannot move in a straight bloody line. an unfortunate on the other end of the cannon and now we know why he was still here because he was grabbed as well nope. you are still unknown over here yet again we have them lying the fuse and yeah it was you who was crushed I believe And that is all we can find here at the moment. There's the door. Part three. Okay. You were crushed by a beast. Okay. Let's see then. Okay, part three. I still wonder if you are the necromancer or something. Crushed by a cannon. And let's see. Is there anything more that is opened up to us now? Oh, I just realized something now. Oh? I think I finally understand the term dangerous as a loose cannon. Yep. Let's see, we can't head up here. Let's see. That was you, right? Who was crushed? Oh, no. Um, who was... So you were shot. There was another death there. Um, hmm. Or, oh, were they... I think they were both shot, since they were both at the front of it. Let's see. So there's one. Um, where is where is number two then? Or were they just completely vaporized or something? That should not be possible. There's the poor unfortunate who was crushed. Where is the other? Did they run for it? That would have been really fast. Hmm. 
There's their hat, even. Let's see. Jump in further. Yeah. Where where did you go? Hmm. We'll mark you as blasted by a beast for now. And let's see. Any more people we can identify? Let's see. We have one possible good, correct one. Let's see. None here that we haven't already identified. Okay. Let's see then. Hmm. Okay, we need to find more bodies then. I believe. Uh, yeah, we don't have an identity for that one. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, th this is a point where you're li very likely to be with this game a few times, where you'll have to, yeah, look around quite a bit to see if you can find anything at all. Oh, hello. Okay, we can open. Wait, there's no X on this one. So we can open this one as well. Let's see. This is the, the room that the shots went through, or at least the corner through. Hmm. Oh wait! So, so, oh no! Hmm. That's a bed. Yeah, next to the cannon. <laughs> okay. Imagine someone uh, firing that to wake someone. Wait. I think that room might be a bit too small for the cannon. Okay, someone in a pool of blood with a knife on the ground. No, you're cut. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I... I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back, to save him. You tell her yourself. <coughs> Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. <coughs> mm, they bled out. You? Okay, you are the first mate, aren't you? We have someone coming down the stairs. An unknown. And hello? What? You can now be identified. They are listening because someone might be calling their name. And we have an unknown here, and an unknown here. Both of them officers? And one stabbing. Yeah. And that is all that we can see here right now. And he lost a damn lot of blood all along the way. And yeah, this sort of thing is why I set this stream as 18 plus. Not because of any lewd bullshit, because, but because some of these things uh, are not for the faint of hearts. In the midshipman cabin. Okay. Let's see. We can't really make a good thought right now. We know that they bled out, but I don't... Yeah, that's not an option here. So, for now, we will have to leave them as is and find another body to hop deeper into this. Of course, it's one of these two. Okay, patiently waited for us to... 
open the door. <laughs> it's still rude enough to leave smoke in our face. Okay. Who are you, poor unfortunate soul? What's all this shit, Gab? And they were clubbed by Brennan. Still unknown. And this one was already dead. And there was the sound of a gunshot. And, well, with a good chunk of his face missing, I think you can guess. Uh, uh, I think I found their face. Look yeah. the wall. I think I think that's supposed to be our, their hat. Or let's uh. hope that is their hat. <laughs> nope. And then we have you who came running in. And look in the other way. Yeah. Okay, now we can take a good guess. They were stabbed. Okay, then. What the heck? This is in the chapter Escape. All right. You are unknown, but you were clubbed by... Let's see. Is there a Brennan on board? Let's see. I'm checking first names first. So, more likely, it is his last name. Let's see. Probably already went past it. Okay, I see no Brennan first name. So let's go back. Oh, here we go. Henry Brennan, seaman. Oh, wait, that... Oh, yeah. For a second, I mistook him for being Brennan. No, you... Our Brennan, though I can't select you at the moment. You will likely show up in this one. I should probably take it a little bit slower. Okay. We can take a good guess as to what happened here. Officer, and they were already stabbed and crawling away. And these two take notice. Brennan here, and yeah, I forgot his name already. There are sixty names to go around. Don't, don't oh hello, what's up there? Um. We have the captain, who's not looking happy with a pistol. And hello. It's that top, not topman, that, that sailor again. I don't. Hmm. Okay. You were shot with a gun by someone. Oh, and we God. can go in yet deeper still. But first, you should be Brennan. Okay, it won't let me. It, it forces me. Actually, I should have pressed tab instead of space there. 
Okay. My mistake on that. I'll work on identifying them in a second. Yeah, you're gonna have a few of them soon in the stream. Yeah. Okay. Who are you? Let them go! Hello. Shot by Miss Emily. Or not Miss Emily, Mrs. Emily. And who is else there? Someone over there. And someone else here. The captain again, and hello. It's you once again. have Brennan and him again. Abigail's brother, I believe. I'm already terrible with social stuff, so having to try identify and connect back and forth 60 people, uh, yeah, that's going to make things even worse. And <laughs> down here, oh, hello. Yeah, okay, now we know who stabbed him. So of. Oh, no, he's an officer. Yeah. But he has a very distinctive hat. A beard. A very nice beard. Okay, you were shot with a gun by, let's see. Yeah, Miss, no, not Mrs. Emily Jackson. Okay. And we go in yet freaking deeper. It's like freaking Inception here. <laughs> Wait. I'm not sure if I've seen that movie. Okay, let's let's just keep digging until it lets us finally go back into reality. And then we'll call it there. We'll be only, only one minute over time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this specter likes to take the scenic route, huh? Last one. Move quick. Boy, you'll not take the last one. Hold him out. Okay, someone who can now be identified got someone stabbed. Is... Yeah, someone is Paul. Yeah. Then we have uh, Mrs. Young. We have you with your fancy vest. Miss Bird next to him. And someone else over here. Captain firing a warning shot. And then over here again. Brennan. The brother. And over here. We have someone listening in. On these two. And someone who is missing an arm. I think we can handle the guess. That's who that may be. Okay, I think there's only one scene more because we're on part two. <laughs> okay, you were stabbed or killed with a sword by an unknown, but you weren't called Paul. So let's take a look. Thomas, Emil, Christian, Olas, Duncan, Edward, uh... One of names I'm not going to try. Zungi Flip Flip Paul Moss. First made Stewart. Okay, is there any other wait, Paul? Wait, wait, I saw something there. Hmm? Uh go back to Paul. Uh, yeah. Look at the name above him. Yeah. Philip Dahl. Look at Nation. 
Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. I don't see any other Pauls. So this is most likely Paul Moss. Okay. Wait, they have two captains? No, Captain Stewart oh. is there as well. And yeah. Last one of these, hopefully. I just realized th something that may help here in this game. No. Oh. Knowing your accents. Yep, definitely as well. Devil in the details. Put me down. Let go. Easy now. You're in a bad way. This is squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. The that. The beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. Captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. A curse like that. Does that live for nothing? Frenchman. For dance? German. So they said the Frenchman was torn apart. We have someone coming up here in the cargo. It's, yeah, you are one of the stewards, I believe. We have someone coming out of a certain place here. You are already identified or identifiable. Then over here we have another. Yeah, we have the captain actually. He's blocking the way up. Okay, what room is this? Let's see. We can actually even open the place up. Uh, let's see. Corpse is over. Uh, oh, wait. Does it actually show where we are standing on this? Oh. <laughs> Getting caught off by this. But we know where the door is. Okay, no sound of the door. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, we need this again first. Uh, you. We can identify you. Let's see, this unknown soul. You are German. And oh, you, you recognize have... the accent. And also for damned. It's a uh, yeah, German word, I believe. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Austria. Austrian, not German. So you are the bosun, Alfred Clestil, who has his Frenchman, Charles Minor. There. And you bled out. Um, we'll, we'll, we need to check back into one of the other memories. Let's bookmark quickly. Perished in escape. First memory is over here. Uh, yeah, you you had your arm torn off. I'm pretty sure. Arm? Okay. No, no, no. It was torn no. in half in the middle. It, not, not uh, this one here. The the bosun who he had his arm torn off. I believe, pretty sure. So you were torn apart by a beast. Okay, and Paul Moss. Let's see. Oh, dear. Okay, now we can take our leave. Uh, let's see. We we can identify you if we haven't done so already. When we open the map, let's see. Let's scroll all the way to the front. Let's see. Over here. We are here. This is the first mate's room. Okay. So you... Yeah, you are the first mate. Okay. 
Anyone else here who can be identified? No. And no. Okay. And you cannot be identified. Let's see. Yeah, this sketch can also give quite a few hints as to who is who. And yeah, you... You are Brennan, one of the seamen. There. Okay. And no, uh, people, we will not make that joke, but it's way too easy. It's a joke that's been done way too many times. Especially thanks to Family Guy. Okay. That is another Surprise, chapter. <laughs> <laughs> hello there. Uh, hello, Reef the Leaf and Raiders. Thank you for visiting. Uh, even though we were just about to close up. And oh. uh, welcome to yeah, disappearances. Four wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are cataloged here. Uh, yeah, this is <laughs> this. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, again, welcome. Uh, this is the return of the Oprah Din, uh, which is uh, a sort of puzzle investigation mystery game where, well, you have to solve the fates of a bunch of, well, 60 people who were on aboard a ship that went missing and suddenly reappeared. Uh, let's see, a reef the leaf? Well, funnily enough, this happens quite occasionally to me. Uh, yeah, that's likely when you're raiding people who uh, <clears throat> you're raiding people who are in about the same time zones as you. Uh, let's see. First off, let's quickly give a shout out. There we go. That should be typed out correct. Uh, oh, I just need to put in a space, of course. <laughs> I always get flustered when raiding. Uh, but uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, uh, I'm Helian. Over there is my lieutenant Drakir. Uh, we. Hello. We typically stream games for a story. Uh, we generally have like three-ish games going on at a time. One main game through the main week, and then some side stuff in the side in the weekend. And you caught us on our last stream of today. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Reef to leave. True. Uh, wait. Oh, uh, apparently that's glitched out. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'll need to fix that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Reef. Uh, what were you playing, actually? Uh, Drakir found the soundboard again. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to fix that. Uh, let's see. Emily Jackson, Miss Jane Bird, and two unknowns vanished here. Okay. Uh, yeah, basically in this game... We are an insurgent. No, we are an insurance agent who is investigating the reappearance of the ship, and it is our task to identify all people on board through the use of this little magic trinket, the memento mortem, or remember death. Yeah, uh, I don't think we are a normal insurance person. I think we are more of a supernatural detective. Now we did. <clears throat> This uh, this little trinket came with the book that was sent along with us. Oh, no. uh, yeah. And we solve things by reliving the last I'll moments of the people's deaths. Now let's see. Okay, this you man here. Yep, odd little effect. Uh, yeah. We need to identify all of these people through reliving their deaths. And let's see. You were knifed there, and then you bled out. They are in nine other memories. And yeah, we need to identify pe people through well, evidence that we can find and such by interactions between characters. Because this man here just called for Brennan. And this man here is listening because this is Brennan. So he has been identified. And yeah, for now though, uh, where is the exit here? There is the exit. 
Okay. <clears throat> and yeah, as we go, new areas of the ship get unlocked to us. New bodies get revealed for us to investigate. And yeah, through circumstance, through elimination, and through correlation. Oh, this is now open. We need to identify everyone, and that is a big splatter of something. Even though this is black and white, I think we can make a good guess as to what that is. Yeah, uh, this is a... This is not for the faint of heart, simply put. Faint of heart? I would say, keep tiny kids away from this. Yeah, the, uh, the, the stream is already set to 18+, plus, or at least mature. Hello, Armory. True. Uh, no, you... Uh, let me out. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, okay I'm dead. But yeah, thanks again for the raid, Leaf. Uh, but we'll have to call it here for now. So we are going to look for someone else to raid. So we will just pass it along. <laughs> yeah. Again, thank you people for the raid. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. And this time I did not get jump scared. Okay, let's close off the game, bring up the browser, and let's see. Change the screen share, and then we go look for someone. So, ta -ta, screen share, go live, and let's see. Okay, I see that Tatum and Sensei Tadpole are both still online with Minecraft, even though I see both of them in the chat there. I see you. <laughs> so, just listening <laughs> along. Uh... Next up, we have Coradust, who is streaming Overwatch 2. Uh, Intro VT has shifted from their previous game to Dead by Daylight. Uh, let me double... Yeah, the place is muted, so I, we can just take a peek. Uh, I think... I believe Dead by Daylight got a new uh, update recently with more characters. Like um, the Nemesis? Uh, yeah, they were in a more recent patch, but I think they had a new one with another new monster. Uh, though I don't know if that was an original one or uh, some from something else. That That is something that could be considered quite fun with Dead by Daylight. That there's just so many crossover stuff. Um, next up, we have Smoop oops, on a nonsense who is playing Zomboid again. <laughs> Uh, Big V Streams is playing Morrowind, or are playing Morrowind. I believe they are a group. Touch Scaly Tail is still streaming Tears of the Kingdom. And then we have Halloween, who is currently streaming System Shock. I'm guessing, yep, that's not the remake. Okay. Uh, you want to pick who to raid, or shall I? I will let you do it this time. I'm getting sleepy. Okay, then I'm going to yeah, I'm going to send everyone here to Sensai. So if you are listening in, you've got <laughs> oh they are BRBing, so they're probably not listening in. Okay. Uh, anyways, let me copy that name and then. Then we head over to our place and slash raid and paste. But before we start, of course, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Blackbird, for the little emote. Thank you, Reef, for you know, for the raid. <laughs> especially appreciate it, <laughs> especially when it's, it manages to jump scare us. And uh, yeah, you. thank you, anyone else who has been watching now or later as well. And as always, Udric here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, tomorrow we will have our showcase Sunday, where we try out a few games for later streaming. Okay, bunch of screaming outside. As well as uh, the free space that we have in the evening. Um, what shall we put in there? Shall we continue with Obra Din? Or shall we, leave, shall we start Din. another site? Uh, <laughs> very easy Obra answer. Obra Din. <laughs> it's hard to not return to Obra Din at this point. Yeah. All right, then. With that, let's start up that raid. Okay. And, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, thanks, everyone. Thanks again for watching. And uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm getting flustered again. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone. And watch out for bloody krakens. <laughs> yeah, and other sea monsters. <laughs> yeah, oh dear.
Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. See ya. Stream deck. Ha, 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 ha.